Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Morland. Yes, yes. Thank you. And I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently it's in the area. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. With simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> Like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. Merlin's stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. 